This spring, I had the chance of a lifetime. I was given a really cool tour of Puesta del Sol, a net zero building in my school district, Bellevue. Puesta is a green building and green building is a system. Today, we're going to look at one element of this system. Green energy production through geothermal heating. Geothermal bores, ground wells, geothermal loops. At Puesta del Sol, the heating system was always going to be sustainable. But what is a ground loop? Geo means from the earth, and thermal means heat. So together, geothermal means heat from the earth. The geothermal system at Puesta uses pipes, called bores, diving 300 feet into the ground. At Puesta, there are five zones that each have about 15 bores, totaling 85. Inside of this closed system of pipes is a solution made of water and antifreeze that is constantly cycling down and up the bores to the heat pumps and back down through the ground loops. This whole system takes just a minute or two to complete. Everybody knows that water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, right? Not with antifreeze! This antifreeze solution prevents the water in the pipes from freezing until about 20 degrees Fahrenheit, which is super important to let the geothermal loops function. Earth, meanwhile, doesn't experience a lot of temperature change. It stays a pretty consistent 55 degrees Fahrenheit underground. In the winter, when it's below 55 degrees outside, the below freezing, but not frozen, liquid in the pipes causes a transfer of heat from the Earth. This process is called conduction. Having gained thermal energy, the solution is then sent back up the bores, through the main, to the heat pumps, where the heat is extracted and used to heat the air. In summer months, the heat is replaced. Heat pumps extract thermal energy from the building's air and transfer the heat to the liquid in the system. The liquid travels through the main and down to the bores, where it's warmer than the 55 degree earth. Heat transfers via conduction back into the earth, and over the span of one year, the amount of energy pulled out of the earth is equal to the energy put back in. That's what makes ground loops, geothermal heating systems, the bore field, whatever you want to call it, sustainable. Today, we looked at one small part of green building, but Puesta isn't alone. What's happening here matters to my school district. When I go to the Bellevue School District website, I see their sustainability policy. Bellevue is one of the first districts in Washington to have a sustainability policy. Green building is also important to my city, Bellevue. When I go to my city's website, I see this pie chart. Energy use in buildings is half the problem, but we have a whole plan to solve it. My city is part of a climate alliance with 18 other cities called K4C. Look it up. I have another fun fact for you. The antifreeze solution in the pipes is called propylene glycol, and it's actually food grade, meaning you could eat it, but I wouldn't recommend it.